Hey YouTube, this is your homeboy Seth, martial art fitness, and I just want to say this, I am doing a kata workout, this is a 20 minute video, long video, I'm just going over some of my old patterns, taekwondo that I haven't done for a while, I, I did the white belt video, but I messed up on it like so many times, I, I just couldn't do it, so I just thought, well, I'll just um, go into my other katas and, and learn put them on the video for you and everything where you guys can get a workout with them titles instead of the white belt form i know i was supposed to put the white belt form in but i was going to add some of my other kung fu forms into my training as well um that i do know of and but i didn't want to make the video more longer than what it already is this is just a simple kata training video um most people argue that titles are useless most people argue that katas are pointless in a fight. Um, katas are no good for fighting. Um, a lot of people will say um, traditional martial arts is not good for self-defense. Well, traditional martial arts has saved me many times in self-defense scenarios. Um, do I use kata to train? every day and no. I use martial arts that's practical. I use fighting techniques that's practical. To me, kata is good for coordination. Kata is good for balance. Kata is good for drilling um, techniques. Um, it's a small play of shadow box of routine. And that's all it is. And it's kind of like a set pattern of shadow box. Um, when you shadow box, you're doing it in a freestyle sequence of patterns in traditional martial arts. Um, but in boxing, you know, it's kind of different than that. You can, it's kind of the same way because you got to do footwork. You got to remember the breathing. You got to remember timing. You got to remember the agility drills. You got to, you know, do all of that in boxing. But katas is a whole different level of training. You know, you're putting everything into it no matter what. And, um, because you're making sure you're getting good balance. You're making sure you're getting good coordination. You're making sure you have good feet alignment, good back alignment, good, good posture. Um, making sure you're not staggering around in your form. Um, you're working on balance and all. And to me, that kata is a good way to train for balance, um, and coordination. Um. That's the main thing that I emphasize people to do is, you know, go back to kata training. You know, if they were once a traditional martial artist and they left the field of traditional martial arts and went into like this mixed modern, mixed martial art modern day world, their original style is still going to be your original style that you first started out in. It's always going to call, come back to you no matter what. Because basically martial arts is about the basics. Martial arts is about the roots. Without katas, there is no martial arts. There is no martial art technique. Um, there is no martial art fighting technique skills. And kata. And that's the thing. You know, a lot of people say kata is not a good way to train in martial arts to me you know back then in ancient times in chinese japanese you know they you know if they didn't have no one to train with they used katas to help them get better they used kata techniques to help them get better and like i said is that um they they train hard by themselves you know that's how they use to get better at what they do and um, they use it as a tool for focusing and then for combat and that's what titles are for is to help focus help you maintain on what you want and desires of your mind you know you know to be as a better martial artist and to me you know cuz is a good way of meditation because you know to me if you're out in the country like I am you know, when you're practicing katas, it takes you into that meditation state. It takes you into that meditation flow. 
And if you do it ten times back to back, of uh, ten ten sets of one set of every color you know in one hour, you would have nothing but sweat on you. Do ten reps of one kata, one form at a time, palm say or whatever you want to call it. Um, and um, drill it you know, over and over and over. Just drill it, drill it, drill it. And when you drill it, when you get comfortable with it, when you get um, good at it, work on try the relaxation part when doing it. You know, where instead of just worry about power, worry about relaxation when doing the techniques. And learn to learn the when to not to relax with the techniques when doing kata as well. And you know that takes you to another higher state of form when practicing kata in such a way because my instructor at the time um, he would always get mad at me because I would not practice katas when I when I was in class and I said but I'll be bringing home those first place trophies every time when when I would do katas and and He's like, how come you don't practice in class, but yeah, you'll practice on your own at home. And I said, because I can focus more. And I said, when I'm by myself, I can focus more on my own training. I said, but when I'm with somebody else, I can't really focus on what I'm doing in a set class pattern. I can't focus on to get improvement in my form. And I said, that's my thing, because I'm worried about what the other person is doing beside me and how they're doing it, how they're performing it. And I said, that's what I don't want, is obstruction from my train. And so, he would always get mad because I would train so hard on my katas at home, but I wouldn't train in element class. And he would always say, you need to train on your katas. And I said, no, I'm gonna do what I wanna do. And I said, this is what I want to do. And then I wanna train techniques, I wanna train sparring, I wanna do pad drills, I wanna do bag work. I said at home, I'll do the homework for kata train. I said I'll even have you, I'll even say a little later before you can watch me do my kata. I said because I do not like to do it around people because I like to do it around how I do that in, in my own scenario. Because that way I don't have to worry about the person next to me or how they're performing their technique in the kata. I said when there's a lot of people out on the room on the mats. I get a little sidetracked because I'm not worried, worried about what they're doing. But if I'm by myself, I can perfect every technique. I can, you know, correct myself what I'm doing wrong. Um, you know, I can perfect my form. Um, and that's the thing, you know, with martial arts, that's the thing. You know, you, you can always be creative when, do you, when you're doing martial arts. And that's the reason why I love martial arts in its own way. And... And that was a good stress reliever. It's a good meditation way of relieving stress. You know, if you're not really feeling good, it's a good way to get in shape. You feel better. Um, they do have Tai Chi. Um, that's a more of a softer style of martial arts. But we're into kata, Taekwondo, Kados, and Karate Kados right now. Um, we're not into Tai Chi. That's what we're talking about now. Even though Tai Chi does have a kata in there, um, you have seen some of my Tai Chi forms. One of my Tai Chi kind of videos where I'm doing a form of Tai Chi, you know, using it as a workout. And um, so, you know, I do a little bit of Kung Fu training on the side of my other style of martial arts. Um, I'm not really high value of Kung Fu person as what other people may be out there. But, you know, I do my best, you know. I'm not here, you know, to be famous. I'm not here to, you know... Um, show my skill off, you know, I'm not here to impress anybody. Um, but if people like what they see on what I do, you know, please hit the like, subscribe, and I'm gonna make this voice over a little bit over then. Um, and, um, pretty much, you know, just be yourself, be who you are, you know, be free in your training, don't be. Um, to bound by limit, um, be limitless in your training, be 
go beyond, go further beyond in your training. Um, push yourself every day to be number one at all, all the time. And like I said, just you know, just train hard, train smart, do your research, and everything will come to play. Everything will work. Everything will work out. To plan, you know, take one day at a time. That's all you can do, you know. You don't become a Taekwondo master overnight. You don't become a karate master overnight. You don't become a boxing master overnight. You don't become a samurai overnight. And it takes years, dedication, and hard work. Like I said, stay tuned for this video. And like I said, I want you to subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to hit all on the bell. You'll get every one of my videos now like i said you know kind of a good way of training for balance coordination get a good workout in and like i said this was only 20 minutes but i had, i didn't add the white belt video if i would have added the white belt video it would have probably been like a 30 minute video long video so i just want to leave it there train hard train smart be yourself be formless but shapeless be water my friend that is the towel bruce lee and like i said Peace and God bless. Be fruitful, mindful, respectful, and like I said, train hard, train smart, and peace.